Hello and welcome back. A couple of weeks ago I showed you these coaches that I'd just received in the post and they were from starter sets, clockwork sets and, and very basic sets for, for children and occasionally they were they were made without buffers and without seating units and I, I'd got these ones and they have the old seating units but they were in rather poor condition, they look like they've been stored quite badly. So I've taken them apart and I've given the wheels a bit of a clean up, you can see they're in fairly poor condition there. And given them a, a, a good soak and clean with soap and water and I was surprised to find a variety of different colours of seating units which was quite a nice surprise and those window units were really dirty and no wonder we couldn't see through them. So after a little work this is the the uh, end result as they say so significantly cleaner the roofs do have a, a slight cream tinge to them but uh, they're, they're in pretty good shape the windows are now clean we, we can see right through to the uh, the seating units so they do look a bit happier now the old rust cleaned off the axles and the couplings couplings straightened out a little there are some marks which which can't come out but i think that's to be expected with models of, of this age and have had a, a good life in the past again just look through those windows that wonderful slight pinkish seating unit there again wheels all nicely cleaned up there Coupling straightened out and so on. A little bit of paint loss here and there, but nothing too bad. There's a mark here which is well ingrained into the plastic. Maybe something's been spilt into there, onto there, sorry, and stained the plastic. That's that's there for good. So we'll just have a look at the other two. So I say this is model number R720, included in the, uh, the old children's start, starter sets and things. Uh, they were included in the old Smokey which was set RS61 in 1965. And um, they did have a different catalogue number for that. I think that was R724, but from what I've read, they are the same the same coach. Now, as I mentioned when I showed these, some of these um, were produced, they didn't have buffers and they didn't have seating units. And uh, occasionally some of them had a, had a, brake, uh, a brake coach roof on instead of the composite coach. I think as a, as a result of the, the tools for these short coaches going out to New Zealand, they may have been just left with the, the tool for the brake coach roof and uh, therefore had to put brake roofs on from, from a certain date, which I don't know. But um, again, the, the other coach that we're going to have in the video today is from the old Smoky set. Sadly, I don't have the old Smoky set, but here is this wonderful utility van. Now, this has a catalogue number. R726, and like these coaches, I don't think it was ever sold as a as a solo model. And I think the old Smoky set really was only available in '65, from what I've read. And the roof on this has got some paint splatter on it, so a bit of a layout work perhaps, and it's just suffered the effect of of paintbrush splatter. But I think it probably caused more damage trying to remove that than uh, just leaving it still, leaving it there. I think. And again, this is in fairly nice condition. And the doors do open, they are fairly stiff to open. We'll just uh, see if we can open one and have a look. There we go, you can see the old securing screw in there. I uh, love the angle of the, the window units there, they always slip, they were sort of not square. Now we've got this colourful looking train on the move now, just headed off towards the suspension bridge, being pulled along today by Princess Victoria. Well, this is one of the mail order princesses from 1974, RO50. I believe these were only available in 74, and this black variant was available as a solo model as well as in a train set that year in the regular catalogue. Now, just watch this as she comes down the incline there, storming towards camera. Lovely sound on this motor, just listen. She's a very powerful model. Don't those coaches look terrific? They really are wonderful. I'm so glad I got them. No effort at all coming through that uh, bumpy section on the track there with the points and the diamond crossings. Now I did notice there's a bit of paint splatter on that utility van when I watched the video back, which I hadn't seen before. And here she is just slowing down, gentle crawl to a stop. So here we are back in the old 1974 catalogue again. So we're just going to open it up to page 27, bottom right hand corner. We've got the old Black Princess Victoria here. R050, original princess was R50. And here it says, Princess Victoria with magnetesian 
and the exhaust steam sound. Now my model, as we're going to see, doesn't have the old uh, chuff chuff sound in the tender. I think it may have been removed. It is quite annoying. But also my model is in the wrong box. It's for a Green Princess R053, and I believe in 1974 they made uh, these ba these basic princesses for the old catalogue market. Now the green one was uh, R053, and I believe possibly there's quite a rare red one, which is R048. But uh, let's have a look at page 10. And we can see that it, it's also included in a set this year. Let's flick through to page 10. There we go. Those wonderful garish coaches, which we saw a few weeks ago. There she is. And we've got the old uh, set number, R453 Express Passenger Set. So we'll uh, pop this catalogue down to one side, and then we'll have a, a swift look at the old locomotive in its box. So Hornby Railway's box, quite an early looking box. And on the end we can see here it says R053, which is the, the green livery princess, as we can see here. So box is in fairly poor condition, but it's uh, done its job, I suppose, and protected the old model. So it's just plain cardboard on the back, quite dirty. So we'll lift off the old lid and we'll have a look at the model on the inside the model. Is in fairly good condition, although rust has set in on the connection rods. So let's just have a look at that. So the uh, bright yellow tray has got some cracking from uh, from storage or age over the years. The uh, the bodywork's in fairly good condition, but I have uh, or I'm going to clean up these um, old connection rods here. So the, there's some light rusting on them, but as you see, the bodywork's in fairly tidy condition. It's done some running. There's a little bit of work on this model and the motor, as we'll see much later on, it is in, in fairly good shape. Again, rust setting in on, on the end of the old axles and indeed I think you see on that coupler back there, the rust has taken hold, but still quite a nice model. I was very pleased to get it even in, in the wrong box. Just watch this as she moves off. Absolutely effortless and they're, they're quite heavy these coaches even though they're on pinpoints they're all plastic wheels off into the distance there just look at that train that's terrific isn't it with those bright red and cream or red and yellow coaches with that wonderful utility van with the red doors a really great sight picking up a little speed here putting a great big smile on my face here making this go quicker and quicker off into the distance again just backing off the power a little now as she comes into the bend under the elevated section. Really makes a, a lovely noise. And there she goes off down the side of the station. So I've just taken the, the body off the chassis and have a, a quick look at that. You see that wonderful nameplate there, Princess Victoria. And she is rather shiny, isn't she? I say the, the model's in, in pretty nice condition, apart from the, the rust we've seen on the metalwork. So we'll just have a look around there. Lovely detail. And it's just the, the old princess mould. They must have made thousands and thousands of these over the years, do you think? But this is, must have been uh, just a last, last run on the old princess, I think, these catalogue models and this black one, making it into the, the general catalogue. But we've even got some... Uh, Detail there in the, in the cab, lovely thing. Just have a look on the underside, again, fairly tidy. Got the old original catalogue number there, R50. And we just got the name Hornby there. And then made in England, fairly tidy. Tiniest of oil splat in there, I think. So not much work done on this model. It's had a, a fairly sheltered life by the looks of it. We'll pop that down and we'll have a look at the old uh, chassis. Here we go again, if we look at the old motor, it really is in beautiful condition, isn't it? Really is nice and there's not much uh, time on those wheels. Barely run, really tidy condition, but the, the old rust has really set in. I suppose it is just surface rust, so I'll uh, get that cleaned up. And we'll, uh, we'll see her running. Anyway, you've already seen her running, but uh, it's... Um, Strange how these things sort of go like that, isn't it? The little bits of rust here and there just must be the way it's been kept. 
uh, motor. It just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Just uh, really lovely condition, those brushes. I don't know whether we can see down into those, there's hardly any, any wear on those. Let's have a look in there. Wheels look in lovely condition. And hardly anywhere on the old plastic. Really is quite something, isn't it? So we'll pop that down. And uh, we'll have a, have a swift look at the old tender. Love them, the uh, the BR decal on, on there. That's something else, isn't it? Printed in gold like that, just like the old early models. Old axles just showing a little bit of surface rust rust on them there. Plenty of dust. And you can see the weight there inside the tender. So it's got provision there for the old uh, exhaust steam sound chuff chuff sound box in there. But I don't know whether somebody's removed that in the past. As I say, it is quite an annoying feature. We've got sleeved wheels, obviously, and uh, that uh, old trying D-shaped coupling here has got a bit of rust on it as well, look. So no, nothing, I don't think we can clean it up. So I bought this some time ago and just sort of have le left it sitting, really. I should have attended to it a bit earlier. Not much wear on the, on the old drawbar either. I'll just turn that around. Nice coal load there. This, this, the normal princess coal or by the looks of it. And lovely decal, decal on the other side. Really is an excellent thing, isn't it? Old spoked wheels as well, not solid ones. Like the earlier princesses had, had the solid wheels. And that changed to using crosshead screws. So, so earlier triangle models or triangle home models had flathead screws, didn't they? Again, watching the video back, I spotted that one of those front buggy wheels has a split in it, so I'll have to see if I can get a replacement for that. Very well behaved through the crossover there. And we'll uh, switch those behind them, off around behind the engine sheds on that second radius curve, and up towards the old windmill and the first radius curve there, slowing down a little, a lot of friction coming down this very tight curve, and up to the station, and we'll bring her gently to a stop. So we have all those connection rods cleaned up now and doesn't she look all the better for it? A really superb looking model now. Really lovely in, in that shiny black. Just look at that gold British Railways logo on, on the uh, tender there, it's terrific. And cleaned up all those axles on the tender as well. Just look at it. No wonder they made so many of these over the years. It, it just looks right, doesn't it? Just how a toy train should look. Lovely on the back of the tender as well. Bright red buffer beam there. You can only see we've got the old axles cleaned up there. Very rusty, some of those. Connection rods on this side, nice and bright now. It really does change the, the entire appearance of it, doesn't it? Really is an, an excellent thing. Quick look along the, the front there and back along the top of the, the old model there. It's just enough to make it look like a very powerful locomotive, isn't there? Great cold load there too. Just time for one last look at these really great bright coaches. R720, available 64 to 67 from what I've read, and I don't think they were available as a solo item. A wonderful black princess there, springing into life across the points. The utility van is something else, isn't it? It really does put a smile on your face with those bright red doors. Now I think that's probably it for this week. Thanks so much again for watching, it's hugely appreciated. If you look back again next time, we shall try and have something else interesting to look at. Goodbye now.